Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Game of Thrones. You are here with Morris, and at the end of the last part, we've finally gotten to safety, relative safety, I guess. I'm just going to take a quick look at this tapestry. <laughs> oh, man. Let's look at Mira, shall we? Mira. I actually really like the way this game looks. Standing, I suppose. Although, hey, is that cat Tilly? I wonder if they'll bring her home. Really looks like it. Or oh, Cat Stark, we should say. Who is totally dead now. Oh no, Lady Forrester. Lady okay, Forrester. well, it looks a lot like Cat Stark. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Oh man, look at Talia these chumps. Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Oh, he's in charge. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, who's this dude? Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Well, let's get down there. Let's get him back. <laughs> right. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Oh, you are never seeing power. <laughs> Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Oh, Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Really should have tried to keep him alive a little bit more. Learn more about the foresters on the menu codex page. Hmm. Okay, you fine. Seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine. Maestro Tengren. Fine, look at me dance. I'll show you. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's look at this. Let me just sidle on over here. So I uh, I said in the last part that I, you know, I love the kind of the British talent in the in Game of Thrones. And there is a lot of it. I mean, you know, Sean Bean, what, what, what can we say about Sean Bean? I imagine there's a whole sort of generation of people who only know Sean Lionel Bean as, uh, as Ned Stark. Um, I know him as, uh, I guess I was first introduced him, to him, sorry, um, as Boromir in Lord of the Rings. Um, and, but, but, but let me tell you, if you really want to know what Sean Bean is all about, and if you really want to know why people in this country just still love Sean Bean, or at least people of a certain age still love Sean Bean... Look up Sharp. Sharp with an E at the end. Because that is one hell of a show. Um, it's basically Sean Bean as Sean Bean. Um, you know, it's... A, I mean, it's a very... I don't know. It's, it's a very kind of British thing. So I don't know if people overseas will appreciate it quite as much. But um, but I still think that's Sean well, Bean's best thing that he's ever done, they? honestly. I guess. Bandages, give me these. Shouldn't these be already on my leg? Oh, I've got some. I didn't even realize. <laughs> oh, I'll take them. I'll take them all, just in case. Healing herbs. Take those as well. Give me some green, red, and yellow herbs. Come on. This might help. This might help. I'll just put that in with the maggots. <laughs> just put it all in there. Alright, what else have we got around here? It's a nice looking mm -hmm. place. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Yeah, no, I'm alright, look at this. Can I run? Nope. Is there a run button? Oh, no, that's move a little quicker, there we go. <laughs> that's just, is that even, that's not even moving faster, that's just like speeding up that animation there. Let's look at this shield. Let's take it. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. I love that. The that's forests owe their lives to this wood, and the weapons that come from it. That's a nice idea. If you're going to add characters into this universe, I think it's. Uh, no, you see there. Oh, you're limping again. I'm fine. Am I really though? I'm all right. This is just how I walk normally, you know. <laughs> it's my new walk, you know. That's how they know I'm in charge. Let's look at him. Let's look at him from the front. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. No, you don't need to. I'm, I'm done walking for you, pal. I've seen everything there is to see in here. Check this shit out. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Even a sword as strong as this would barely make a dent in a shield like that. This Ethan guy, I mean, can he wield a sword like this? I'm not so sure, having never met him. <laughs> Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. <laughs> just wanted to ask you, can I leave? 
Why do the White Hills hate? Why do the White Hills hate us? Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. The White Hills want our ironwood. The White Hills want Forester ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left, just as they've done before. Who is the new lord of House Forester? Why, Ethan, of course. I knew that. I'm just exhausting dialogue options. <laughs> At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn. Get the very you know, I always wonder what I do in a this universe house like this. In his hands. I'll probably already be dead, Which to be honest, but... Think about it. <laughs> what would I have done before, then? What will become of me? What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... Circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, <laughs> doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire. If that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. There's no proof, I guess. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Oh, God forbid. God forbid we should disturb the loot practice. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. It's and not like everybody tell. just died. It's not like we have Lady things Forrest. to do. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, and did she? I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. <laughs> Yeah, an early night, that's what we all need. It's been a long day. Yeah, it was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my if life. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. Well, you gotta look at the positives. Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He fought he, valiantly. He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, can't say that enough. <laughs> this has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told, I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... Was there anything he said? Any yes. last words before he passed? If you can remember. Uh, I so much to the family. Give him the sword. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Well, this North Grove Thank thing, you. I don't know what it is, so I don't want to just course. go chatting about it to everybody. It demands a response. It's too dangerous. Oh, bloody hell, it's kicking off now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Oh God! We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Ramsey Snow is coming. I think we should just leave. Snow is coming here. <sighs> He'll arrive within the week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Good plan. I like this plan. Let's Dad do it. Just lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You ask too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. <sighs> we need to be smart here, guys. My uncle's right. 
We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? That's... that's low, man. <laughs> that still cuts Ultimately, deep. It will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was The Boltons are scary, things. man. I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't I'd murder. The same, as any man would. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsey Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us so, all. Yeah, I'm not going uh, to see them try. Just to point out, you know, I, I have read the books, take. but I'm not going to spoil anything that hasn't already been in the show. Stay. So don't worry, don't worry don't about that. I'll have to watch myself. The boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one place like, beyond yeah, the reach. Yeah, I have to watch if anything Bolton. slips out. <laughs> You're sending him to But the I'm sure it won't. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution, especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll go. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Duncan will remember your bravery. For a week. That settles it, then. Until the Boltons come and rip this place apart. <laughs> you can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Oh, God. I stand by my decision. That guy just disappeared. I stand by my decision to kill that guy rather than show mercy. Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. You've got to remember the world that we're in here. <laughs> But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. They would have only gone Lord and Forrester run away and said the same thing and come after us anyway. To the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said only tell you. He said tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wild and fools. Do you want to let me in on what the hell we're way. talking about? <laughs> I assume you kept your word. I did. Very much so. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Nope. This Not even a single person. Uh, I to I've told no one. Not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future. You know, future if you told me what it is, I might be able to help out even more. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Oh, tell me we're going to be rocking with Jon Snow out in the wild. That, that's cool. <laughs> I am excited for this. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Damn straight. I mean, iron from Remember, ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. Of honor. That's I all I know how to do. I'll try not to kill anyone else. <laughs> Just randomly. <laughs> Oh, they're all sad. Garrett, wait. I'll take it. 
Wow, it's an Be item. Safe. It actually went in my inventory. <laughs> I love how they just have the artwork as the background. That's nice. Because sometimes, you know, concept art is just awesome. Ethan? But then it's never really realized in the final thing. But just stick the art in there for something like this. Ethan. I think it works. Ethan Forrester. Lord of House Forrester. Look at this shit-eating grin on this kid. <laughs> too well and if he was smart he would reveal himself I don't like this game anymore maybe something happened to him Ethan's Whoa, father. what I'm just this guy He's now. just forgotten this is a game oh you found me you found me well done Ryan don't worry it's just a game Ryan a stupid game I don't like it let's play Monopoly was worried you were gone I thought we'd never find you again I'm right here, and I promise Could not have been closer. I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. That's weird that I'm and just Asher. switching characters and straight away. And Roderick. I'm I not sure how I feel about that Mira's one. Mira's in King's Landing, and can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe. I promise. She's gone to the you. safest place ever, King's Landing. No, no nothing ever horrific happens either. there. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. Garrett is I don't know smart. Why he did get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come and here. If you think for brains revenge. are worth nothing in this universe, Everyone's just look at Tyrion. Worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. A milksop? So Roy, I don't even know what that is. is. After all, <laughs> you are the lord of the house now. Uh, I don't care I don't what he says. I don't care said. what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I, I don't, don't even know. know. There you I go. See, he doesn't know either. I just made it up. You should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and... Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. You want to go right now, sister? should know how to fight. Oh man, that combo. Do you remember when we were younger? <laughs> when we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher? No. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. Hey, he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a Lord has many responsibilities. I may have to change. You don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. People change. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. I'm not Joffrey up in this. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Where, where is that voice coming from? <laughs> I have to go. The voices in my head are telling me to return. What's the matter? Oh, there he is. Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Oh god, I'm gonna have to deal with the repercussions, aren't I? Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. 
He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. Well, I gotta go with him. I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Can't have people thinking I'm not up to the task. Why am I going in the opposite direction? <laughs> Uh, my lord, the, uh, <laughs> your guests are this way. You're, go you're complete. You're off in the forest now. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Oh man, it's this is what Game of Thrones is all about. It's all about negotiation, you know? So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do Stop something Stop saying rash. bastards, you bastards. It's bad enough as it is. I can handle this. Handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now See, not it's all about, about confidence, you know? Any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men. And the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Well, you know, you gotta be a bit of both. I imagine it'll be really, it'll be a lot tougher in this game probably than The Walking Dead to negotiate with people. Lord Ethan, is it? Because this is a I world where people just whip out their swords for no there. reason. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. Oh, I thought I would shake his hand as well. Okay. Oh, regard, I've, I've not started this well. To drive the dagger into his heart myself. All right, it's a little much. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. He died a hero. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye. And look where that got him. And State your business, sense. man. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Apologies. My apologies. Please forgive us. Forgive you? No. I'm not gonna get bring them. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Man, ah, this is rough. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Language, sir. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve, serve the Boltons now. now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different. Mate, you, you know, you're running this up in here. This is my house. You know, you're shouting, you're swearing. Choice, but to harvest what was left. You want what my soul. You want to <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. We could say he Your ran away. Attacked us for no reason. Maybe that's an option. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. You murdered no his family. Reason. You murdered his family. Although I still have no proof. It was your man who killed my men, and a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? Um. He acted in your name, and you are the Lord. Of this house. He did as any He's man defending would. his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I've handled it. care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Yeah, we just... Gone? That was my job. Don't don't tell him where he's gone. Just say, "Hey, yeah, bug it off." That's it. Banished. I'm leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. You know what? He's not here, son. <laughs> You're in the wrong place. Is this? A house of honourable men. I'm trying here, man. I'm trying. 
Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Well said. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Uh, it's over. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. What's that? What's that? Maybe Lord. Nothing to say. House. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven. Well, maybe you should bring Lord Bolton down here. Killed one of his own. The new Lord I'm getting way too into this. <laughs> lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Big words, man. Big words. Do as you Do like. As you like, Lord Whitehill. Yeah, that's, yeah, he'll remember it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, that's a glass of glare. That one. <laughs> oh man. I was wrong about Defiance your son, or diplomacy. Lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. It's a tricky world, this, you know. To mirror in King's Landing at once. This is what I was saying about you gotta be true to yourself about your own decisions about what you say, and you'll have fun with this. Oh, this whoa. Help us. King's Landing. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor, <gasps> and Lady Marjorie's awesome. the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. So what are we just controlling all the Forester kids? That's kind of cool, I guess. It makes sense because it means we can go all over Westeros. You know, I guess that's how we interact. Because if we had one character trying to make it everywhere and interacting with everyone, it'd be this game would take place over years. Ah, uh, let's look at this ironwood box. Let's see what's cracking in here. Ethan made this for me. Am I just talking to myself? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Oh man, the Tyrells. I don't know what to make of the Tyrells. <laughs> Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. It is. Maybe I should read that rather than just <laughs> stare at it. <clears throat> Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Visit. Done. That's that letter done. <laughs> what else have we got? This dusty old tome. Wonders <clears throat> made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. A lot of memories in this room. Oh, let's check the view. King's Landing. See view. <laughs> I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. No, it never seems to be sunny in the north. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Enter. No. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Swagger over to the door. <laughs> One moment. Oh, sorry, my lady. Hello, peasant I child. Disturb you. 
I can come back later if you'd like. You're awfully well spoken. I'll let him in. No, it's fine. Come in. What is he doing? <laughs> your pardon, lady, but you're all right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'd rather not say. It's private. I'd rather not say. Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong. I but don't know. It seems like you do. <laughs> uh, I'm her handmaiden. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. Am I? Like good I'm sure I was. <laughs> I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Yep, that's the they one. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. Why, Why are you, are you telling, telling me, this? me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? Good lord. I must know more. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I like you, I kid. You're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, there's so many lords and ladies about. <laughs> you see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you. Friendly neighborhood cold boy. Good night, my lady. What do you mean, good night? It's the middle of the day. Alrighty, well I gotta <laughs> I gotta pause it for now guys. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Game of Thrones and holy hell that dress and <laughs> And I hope to see you all in the next part guys. And I will see you in a bit. Come. There's something we must discuss. See you later.